Johnny, thoughts on the game? Oh, look, it was a very emotional game and um, a passionate game by both both teams. I thought it was a superb top of the table clash. Um, it was an advertisement for football today. I thought uh, the, you know, both both sets of players put their bodies on the line. Uh, in the end, you know, we were the lucky ones, and we got the th you know, we got the result. Um, I mean, really, not. I mean, South had a, a very good chance at one all. Could have made it you know, two one there. The game could have been you know in the balance, but we had a, a goalkeeper. Whilst he made a mistake last week, he actually made it up today. So, and that's what you do. That's what you get from goalkeepers, yeah. And the reaction then from the boys and the, the boys who came on, uh, Maddie Thurtell, you know, scores a goal, and you know, obviously Tyson Holmes is. Uh, he loves these games, so he put one away in the last minute. Look, I, I, I don't say we thoroughly deserved it, but on on uh, on, on the fact that we, we won the game and, and the passion the boys showed, you know, at the end of the day, one team had to win and uh, we we're, were the team today. What does this say about the character of the Bentley Green squad? To be 1-0 down, uh, get a red card in the second half to even up the numbers and then to come away with three goals in the last half hour? Well, we talked about that at halftime. We said, you know, this is this is a character building game today, character building game. So, and and uh, they certainly showed that, especially after going down to ten men. Sometimes you got to understand when you play ten v eleven, it actually gets harder for some reason. <laughs> I don't understand why, but it's just the mentality, I suppose, in the eleven. But once we went down to ten men, um, you know, the boys just 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 really turned it on after that. And uh, you know, we we, we we pressed and we we, we threw Matty up front there because we knew Matty. You know, he was, he's a goal scorer and uh, he, he did his job today and, um, you know, I, I just really couldn't be proud of the boys today. So, great character and, you know, but it's only three points, there's six games to go. Um, you know, we know we're going to be the hunter down big time, so we've got to be at our best. We've got a few injuries coming up, a few suspensions, so we've got to find, uh, we've got to find something within us to, uh, to get over the line in the next couple of games. There was a lot of passion in there tonight, of course, the fans quite vocal, the South Melbourne fans, for yourself obviously being such a decorated player and coach at the club, is there sort of a strange feeling when you're playing against South Melbourne obviously, you know, you're 100% dedicated to that in the Greens now and have done so well there, is it in games like tonight when there's just so much passion, how does it feel sort of standing on the side against a club that you would you know, say you'd have such fond memories of is it difficult? Or? Oh look, it, it, it's always difficult because you know, you've got some fantastic memories from South Melbourne you know, I've had some unbelievable memories, you know we Represented the country in the Club World Championship in Brazil, first club ever to do that. Um, there's no doubt South Melbourne have got a massive history, I mean, the biggest history in the country, just about. Um, but at the end of the day, we're all professionals, so you know I've got to do my job, and I'm doing my job for Bentley Greens. You know, who knows? A couple of years it could be somewhere else, and that's just the way it goes. So, you know, whilst um, you know they've got passionate supporters, um, it's good to see that you know they come to the ground and you know they filled the stadium today, which was fantastic. You, like you said, you've played there a lot, you know a lot, but it seems like they're very damning towards you as well. Does it hurt at all? Do you feel a bit, but not betrayed by them, but do you feel like it's unwarranted, I guess, the, the negative sort of feedback you get on the sideline? Oh, look, you know, mate, I played in the country in Greece where 40,000 people have a go at you, so you know, 10 or 15 really don't hurt me, to be honest. Uh, there's no way in the world. So, look, it's part and parcel of the game, you know, you just got to uh, concentrate on what you're doing, and, you know, I, I kept my ears closed as much as I could have, not in the end, but, in, uh, you know, as much as I could have, and uh, you just got to, because, you know, the game was in the balance. So th there's obviously a, a factor there where they'll try and get, on the wrong side of you, and then you could react, and then you lose the whole whole um, you know purpose of the game. So I try to keep uh, keep you know concentrating on what we did, and we did some great changes. Uh, you know, assistant coach made some great changes today. I always said the assistant coach always makes good changes. The coaches make the bad changes. So um, it was it was great to see, and that's what that's what this club's about. It's a team effort from everyone. Just um, with six rounds to go to the season, how much patience are you willing to have? Uh, with Kamal Ibrahim because 20 rounds in he hasn't had the impact that you guys would have liked and particularly with Ross Honos cup tied and Kieran Dover you know might be signing in England how much patience are you willing to have with Kamal? As long as it takes really um, we know he's a quality player um, and Kamal's come to a club where you know success is, has to be demanded all the time so he, he has to understand that and I think he does um, look he was unlucky today it was just one of those things. Just one of those things that happened. So it was very unlucky today. Uh, but like you said, we've got a lot of games coming up. 
uh, the cup games, he'll be part of that because Ross won't be part of that. Um, so, and I'm not sure if he's available for the Doherty Cup. If that, if the red card stands, he's available. Come on. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm not sure. Well, hopefully uh, it doesn't count. But if it does, well, then you know we've got to find someone else. And uh, you know we've got we've got 18 players. Um, one's gone, but Kieran, uh, one's injured, so we've got 16 now. Family assigned Kieran? We don't know yet. Um, at the moment, I think he's just trialling, so um, by the end of the month, we'll know where he's at. Will you be disputing Kamal's red? Because, like I said, it did seem pretty innocuous, and a straight red does mean three weeks usually. Uh, we'll, we'll be trying. We'll look at it, and if we need to uh, to, to dispute it, we will. But we've got to look at it first because I can't. I don't know exactly what happened. He tells me he he turned around and accidentally hit the kid. Um, and obviously the kid made a bit of a song and dance out of it and the referee gave the red card. So we've got to look at it and then we'll see how we'll, uh, how we'll tackle that. And there's a few flare-ups during the game. Is there something you tell your boys to do to get stuck in from the same whistles, get up, get in their faces, or is it something the boys take on themselves? No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't say to anyone, we're, we're not a fighting team, we're not, we're not a boxing team, we're a soccer team. So, But, you know, if someone comes to our house, you know, we're not going to let them push us around either. So, you know, the boys stood up for themselves and good on them. I mean, I think South Melbourne will do the same at their club and I think every team will do the same at their, at their ground. So we just did what we had to do as a team and, uh, you know, the boys did well. Just um, with Ross Archibald, what's his uh, prognosis? Is it a long-term injury or...? No, we've, had, we've been uh, lucky enough for him to have a, uh, a special type of operation which um, a uh, very uh, uh, distinguished surgeon uh, works on a lot of AFL players uh, for that type of injury obviously they do a lot of shoulder injuries so he he from where he looked season it's six weeks so I think we've got another four weeks to go and he'll be right so you don't need to go into the window to no no not at this stage and how exciting is a win like that for when we've got a trip well two cup games one against Melbourne Knights and then one to the Adelaide the FFA Cup how much confidence do you think it'll bring for those two com cup competitions oh look there's no doubt we'll take a lot of confidence from this game and uh, you know and and and, and the, the way we the way we come back from it will take more confidence from that is that like I said it's character building and this will put, uh, you know, keep us in good stead for the next uh, you know the cup games coming up is there any team in the country that can beat you no no team. Only ourselves we can be there. So that's the only team. Thanks, boys.